All right, guys, what's going on? So we now have our liners. This is going to be part three of the video that I was doing for the major overhaul on the DD15. I'm trying to get the best angle here for you, but it's kind of difficult because I'm wearing my GoPro. But there you go. These are the part numbers for the liners based on the VIN number. As you can see, we're, we're going to need six of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what you're going to get. There we go. That's slightly a better camera angle. So we're going to open this up right now. Let's take a quick look and see what your liner is going to consist of. Let's take a look inside here. Okay, that's going to be your ring that's going to sit inside the liner. But let me pull out the liner first so you can take a look for yourself. Bear with me here, guys. All right, so we've got our liner. Let's move this razor out of the way. We have our seals, our upper and our lower, okay? As you can tell, let me see if I can get you a better angle here. Bear with me, man. All right, so there we go. These are our liners. This is our liner. These are our seals. You're gonna have your upper and your lower, okay? You're gonna notice that on the lower and the upper, same thing, you're gonna have a flat spot, okay? Flat, and you're gonna have rounded on one end. Obviously, the flat end is gonna go on the inside, okay? So what you're gonna want to do, let's take a look there. Just clean it up a little bit. The nice thing is when they come from the factory all nice and sealed. Again, we're only using original parts. We're not going to be using anything aftermarket, okay, as far as the engine components are going to be concerned. So again, flat spot goes in. All you're going to do is simply swing it around, and then you're going to go ahead and seat it into its correct place. That's it, okay? That's pretty simple. Flip it over again, and what you're going to want to do right now is just kind of clean it up. It comes from the factory with this little protective oil or film, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And the same thing. Sorry about that, guys. We're trying to do a couple things here at once. But again, the liner itself is rounded, and then you have the flat side. The flat side is always going to go in to the liner. And again, just simply pull it around. There's nothing special about it. So that's pretty much it. Okay. This is going to sit on the inside right in there that's it okay we're gonna worry about that after when we're putting in our piston right now we don't have to worry about installing it see it literally comes right out if you look at it it's actually tapered on both ends and well again we'll go over this a little bit more in a second but again that's one liner okay your liners go in they there is no specific way that they go in, in other words they don't have to face forward, they don't have to face left, right, back, nothing like that at all, okay? It's really just on the preference. I like to kind of put them all in the same direction. So for example, I don't know if you can see that here. You've got a little barcode, you've got a part number. That I like to try to face forward, so it's gonna to go towards the fan, okay? Let's open up another liner kit. And again, you're gonna see that they are all the same. Always go based on your VIN number. are going to see one like this now I think this is from the factory they do this they pull it this was completely brand new completely sealed so I know that nobody else has really tampered with it or messed with it actually I know that for a fact because again it's been sealed it doesn't look like it was taped twice so put that off to the side and again I don't quite know why this happens again maybe they, it's quality control whatever the case is but anyway what you're gonna want to do again clean this up <clears throat> inspect your seal inspect the o-ring make sure it's not kinked or pinched or torn before you obviously install it if it is go get another one don't take a chance last thing you want to do is put this whole thing together and then you have some kind of leak of coolant or oil or mixture and then then you really got to do all this all over again
developed or a buddy of mine kind of came up with this idea. He's done engine work a lot more than I have. Um, you could use something like this. Okay, this is what you're gonna use to seat the liner into the block. Okay, we use some of the old head bolts. You could probably use a spacer, maybe a shorter bolt. And again, one is gonna sit in there and I'll show you over on the block how we do it. And the other one's gonna sit there. Now we kind of open this up a little bit just so we can kind of use it for different applications, whether it's gonna be a DD15 or a Series 60, sometimes the hole is a little off. But again, something like this works really well because the flat surface is what's gonna sit on top of the liner. So you're gonna run these down and this will actually chase or push in or press, I should say, the liner into the block, okay? Let me just put that off to the side and what you're gonna see is something like this. All right, see, nice flat surface. I don't know if you can see that there, but that's what's gonna push down the liner into the block. Once it's in, perfect, you don't have to worry about anything. So, let's see here, let's open up the lock. What you're going to need again, something like this. Okay, the dealership, our um, Detroit sells a different tool that kind of lets you press in the, um, the liner. Uh, I'm not set up for something like that, guys. I mean, some of these things can get very expensive. So you improvise and you kind of make your own tools. This is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, again, I just use the old head bolts, kind of make some spacers, use two wrenches, wrenches. and we'll show you how that goes in a second. But uh, Let's go ahead and show you the block, show you how I prep everything from there, and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so here we are. We are gonna install our liners into our block. Very simple, I hope the camera is showing everything that we need to see. Our liners are all set up. We've got our O-rings, okay? This is our block ready to go. What we're gonna do is need a little bit of oil, and what you're gonna do is just simply put a little bit of oil on your hand, oops, a little too much there, and just kind of lubricate the area where the new liner is going to sit, okay? And that's because you have these O-rings here. We're still gonna lubricate this area with clean motor oil, but I always like to add just a little bit in the area down here where the liner is gonna sit, okay? Just in case the O-ring catches or something snags. But again, a little bit of lube is not gonna hurt anybody. Um, so that's what I like to do again for the block. Just put a little bit of oil Again, where the first liner or the where the liner is going to sit and the seal is going to meet. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and get your liner. Just add a little bit of oil. And then the same thing. You're going to go ahead and just spread the oil around. Again, clean motor oil. The same one that you use for your oil changes. Make sure it goes all the way around. It's a little messy. You could probably do this on a workbench instead of doing it here over the engine, but I'm doing it here over the engine. Okay, same thing here. Rotate it, make sure again, see there's some spots that are dry and you're gonna wanna go ahead and lube that up a little bit. Again, clean motor oil all the way around. And once you do that, once you're comfortable with that, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and get your liner then you're going to want to want to go ahead and seat it or sit it into the block. Again, doesn't matter which way you do it. There's no right 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 way or wrong way to install the liner. Um, I typically look for the markings and I kind of put those facing forward. All right. So what you're going to do is pick up your liner and you're going to go ahead and insert it nice and slow. It should not catch. It should pretty much go all the way in by itself. Okay. Hope you can see that. And what I showed you earlier is this little bad boy right here, okay? This is what we use to install that. Now I know Detroit sells something a little different, but uh, 
This works just well, and again, I can use it for a Series 60 or a couple different applications. And if you can see, where is it at? Ah, too many. There we go. So once that is in properly, okay, I don't know if the camera can show that, or you can see that on camera. If not, we can take out one of these and again, just get the right height. And what you're gonna wanna do is get your ratchets. Again, two of them, 19 mil. And you're gonna wanna run them down evenly. God damn it. There we go. So again, you're gonna do, wanna do both on both sides. You wanna say hi, Pop? <laughs> I got the wrong socket. Let me get the right sockets. God damn it. Okay guys, little technical malfunction. Had the wrong uh, socket using some different head bolts and that's probably why it's not matching up. But anyway, you get the idea. What you're gonna wanna do is get some, get old head bolts and just run them down. Now, once they get a little snug, you're gonna wanna do the same to the other side and just go nice and even. Hold on, fucking another technical difficulty. Son of a bitch. got too many there we go let's try that out now all right so now that you're getting them nice and snug what you're gonna want to do is you can get two ratchets like this it doesn't matter whatever you're comfortable with and then slowly you're gonna want to go ahead and start running down the liner nice and even nice and smooth again you're not gonna kill it but you're gonna want to all right so as you can see our liner is now installed i hope you can see that it's nice it's flush it will protrude a little bit again once you remove this block from here this will this will pop up just a a hair then you can install the other ring, but right now we're not gonna do the ring. This is just strictly a video for the liner installation. So if you can see that there, I'm gonna get started on number two, and we're gonna do the same thing all the way down to the number six. Okay, so let's get that going. Okay, ahora sí regresamos. La primera parte lo estoy haciendo en inglés, en español, así para hacer un video completo ya con los dos idiomas. Entonces la primera camisa ya está instalado. Como te digo, esta es la herramienta que usamos nosotros. No tiene que ser esto, pero la verdad es lo bueno de la mecánica que uno puede adaptar cosas a su manera, a su gusto. Entonces aquí va la segunda camisa. Vamos a aflojar aquí. Vamos a poner los números para enfrente. Repito que no tiene que ser así, pero yo me gusta instalarlo así de esa manera. Ya está todo, mira, ya tiene su aceite por afuera. Vas a agarrar la camisa, la vas a instalar. Debe de entrar bien suave, sin que se agarre. Mira, ahí está. Ahora vas a agarrar tu herramienta especial. Vas a agarrar. Permíteme aquí, déjame limpiar las manos un poco más. Y vas a bajar la camisa. Acuérdate, cuando uno va a instalar la camisa tiene que ser parejo la presión que uno lo va a hacer y eso es para que esta liga no se vaya a dañar y va a entrar con su presión. A ver, si quieres agarre dos ratchets y dos dados, ahí lo vas sintiendo, mira, el solito va para abajo, lo vas, lo vas a sentir la diferencia, mira. la camisa instalado ya no tienes ningún problema ahí está bien fácil bien sencillo mira ahí se queda la camisa este como vuelvo a repetir lo dije en inglés o lo voy a decir en español esta camisa si sí se sube tantito no mucho pero si sí se va a subir tantito ya le vas a seguir al 3 al 4 al 5 6 hasta que ya termines y empiezas a ensamblar los pistones bueno pero ahí estamos ahí vamos so here's a side view of what you are going to see as far as how the liner gets installed. Again, you're going to get a little bit of oil. Just lube up. 
the block a little bit. It's not gonna hurt anybody or anything. You really wanna do the same on the lowers. Okay, and that's where the, again, the liner is gonna sit and the seal is going to meet the block. Clean my hands a little bit, guys, and then I'm gonna get the same thing done on the other liner. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. We're gonna put oil here. We're gonna put oil there, okay, all the way around. Again, it's not gonna hurt it at all. Liner has oil all around the seal. Okay, so again, we're gonna drop our liner into the number three. Face forward on the digits, nice and easy, and you're gonna slowly insert it. It should not catch into anything, okay? You should just be able to get in there nice and straight and smooth. Okay, that's pretty much it for that. Again, you're gonna get your uh, little handy dandy custom made tool. There we go. And again, you're gonna to wanna to chase down the bolts as you can see from the side. Again, liner number three is now installed. Tighten it down a little bit. Okay, and that's it. So liner three is installed, as you can see. Okay, nice flat surface, we'll push it down. Do not install the other ring yet because it does come up a bit and you will smash it. And then you're gonna probably have to either buy that piece or buy a new liner. I don't know exactly how Detroit sells that. But that gives you a pretty good idea again, how flat everything is here okay so i'm gonna get started with number four i'm gonna do that one in spanish so if you guys want to fast forward great if you want to stay tuned even better okay guys we are back ya estamos ya regresamos aquí estamos con la camisa número cuatro este es el que se va, se va a instalar el proceso es lo mismo nomás lo estoy enseñando del lado como va a ir adentro del bloque entonces como les expliqué se va a poner aceite adentro del bloque poquito no mucho nomás es para lubricar vuelvo a repetir Que no se vaya a pescar las líneas, no se vaya a hacer un daño aquí al seal o las ligas. Ahí está eso. Ok, ahora se va a hacer lo mismo, se va a lubricar la camisa. Entonces agarras tu camisa y se va a lubricar toda esta liga y se va a hacer lo mismo alrededor. Usa el aceite, usa lo limpio. Ahí va. Bueno, ya está listo la camisa, ya le pusimos aceite alrededor. Vas a agarrar la camisa, se va a instalar en el número, en este va a ser el número 4, vas a agarrarlo y lo vas a, con cuidado, bajarlo a su lugar y en esto va a ser el número 4, ahí lo dejas ir y solito se cae, todavía le falta aquí que se baje un poquito más, ahí es donde se va a usar la herramienta que tienes para bajarlo, no vayas a usar un martillo, un bloque de madera, eso no sirve, la verdad lo que puede hacer es puedes dañar la liga, la camisa y después de ahí ya es mucho trabajo para mí en mi opinión para hacer una tontería mejor agarras algo así y ahí le vas bajando lo mismo que se hizo en la primera se va a hacer en este y es, lo, es el mismo paso que se va a hacer a todos todas las camisas se va a hacer lo mismo se vas a bajarlos bien la camisa y ya la vas a seguir el mismo el mismo proceso se va a hacer a todos pues aquí se ve ahí mira ya está bien al ras en su lugar y ya está listo si ya tenemos cuatro camisas faltan aquí nomás dos más y eso es todo ahí le vamos a dar a los demás el vídeo adelante
Okay guys, so here is another view of what we're doing. Uh, trying to give you guys a good idea or a good, uh, essentially a good idea, a good view of what's going on. So this way you can see again from a different angle, this is gonna be the number five that we're gonna install. And again, I'm gonna do this in English and Spanish. So if you guys wanna stay tuned, fantastic. Uh, if it's not for you, that's fine, fast forward. I'm okay with that too. So first thing first, let's get some oil on the liner. I already showed you guys how I do that. So I'm gonna do that a little bit off camera. Just gonna kind of narrate what I'm doing. As you can see there, again, oil. And we're gonna do the same thing up on the top. All right guys, I'm gonna set that there for a minute while I go ahead and just simply put a little bit of oil. The liner's going to sit. I keep saying that shit over and over, but hey, it works for me, so I hope it works for you. All right, so that's good enough. Again, we're not gonna drown it in oil, but we're simply gonna make sure we have enough oil so that when we slide the liner in, everything is ready to go. So here we go. Okay, again, numbers forward. That's just the way I do it. Again, there's no right or wrong way as far as the liner is gonna go when it goes to get installed. Just let it sit. Move your fingers. All right, so that's that. number five is now installed again do not install this little ring that goes up the top of the, the liner you will smash it and you will bend it so anyway as you can tell that one's in let's get number six in and then I'm gonna start doing the rest of the video or maybe number four part video or part four of the video which will be the piston assembly and installation I think that's probably how I'm gonna do it anyway there we go that's number five let's get number six Bueno, ya regresamos. Esta parte va a ser la última camisa que se va a instalar al número 6. Esto va a ser en español. Ya tengo todo listo. Ya tengo todo. Más falta lubricar. Como les estaba explicando, se va a tener poquito aceite. El troque. Y eso es allá cuando se va a instalar. Ya no te va a dar problemas. O te va a dar lo más mínimo. Por, lo mínimo posible de problemas cuando se va a instalar las camisas. Entonces se pone poquito aceite arriba, poquito aceite abajo. Y ahí está, mira. Ya está lubricado, ya está listo para recibir la camisa. No más falta lubricar la camisa. el engrane, el del de que da vuelta arriba a la cabeza, pero ahí va. ya no da más ahí le paras y ya está listo todo instalado todo en su lugar ahí está ahora sí ya terminamos las seis camisas del DD15 la instalación ya nomás se va a tapar bien preparar todo para instalar las, los pistones 
Y eso va a ser otra sección, otro video que voy a hacer. Así para que no se vaya a ser muy largo este, este video, esta parte número 3. Bueno, ahí estamos. Muchas gracias por ver el video. Si te gusta, like, subscribe. Guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, again, I'm just trying to do this video in English and in Spanish so that I can kind of just kill two birds, one stone, and this way I don't have to have two videos really doing the same thing. So, again, all done, ready to go. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe. Um, I hope this video helps out. Thanks for watching.